Hello everybody, we're back today with another episode of Space Engineers. Now, I've been looking for a bunch of tutorials on how to explain to a friend how timers work. And there have been absolutely none! So, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna work on timers today and explain how to set them up and what they do exactly. Now, let's just zoom over to our little character over here little character let's just go back to first person and then go back okay now this might move around while we're busy but that's just because i had to do some weird stuff to everything so yeah okay so first of all we've got a single action on a timer okay so that means the timer will only do one thing and then it'll stop doing that one thing Okay, so for each of these, we set up different actions. There's a rotor, there's a hinge, and there's a piston. Now, each one will be using two. So that's one to start and one to stop. Or one to start, one to put it in reverse, and then stop. Now, we had to set angles on the rotor. Well, well we have to still set angles on the rotor. Now, I did set up these, so you guys don't need to sit through that and be bored and everything like that so what we're gonna do is well first of all we can actually just look for this timer it would be rotor one that's piston that's rotor one okay so we're gonna set up timer there and say trigger now so that means when we push this button that rotor will be triggered so then it'll start the action now what action are we going to give it? Uh, we will give it... Where's rotor 1? Rotor 1. We're going to give it the action to reverse the rotor. That's not the right rotor. There's the right rotor. Now we're going to give it the action to reverse the rotor. Now you can set it to do any of the above things. Okay. And then we're going to change the rotor. And we're going to force it to do half a turn half a turn so it's one revolution per s per minute and no rotor lock is needed we're just going to set it to that and we'll set this to 180 to do an entire half turn and then we're going to go to where is timer rotor one okay set up the action on timer rotor one now you're going to look for your next timer block which is going to be our rotor two we're going to place it there and say start. Make sure you tell it start. Because if you're going to tell it uh, trigger now, it's just going to trigger it again. But when we have it on start, we can just go to timer 2. Take this and change that to 30 seconds. No, let's just make it 35. We'll make it 35 because we're going to... we're forcing it to stop there now i did put some color blocks there to show that it is turning and everything like that and yeah okay so then we've got that set up now we're going to rotate two set up actions and we're gonna reverse it again so basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna go up and then back down as easy as that now we did set up our rotors correctly if uh, uh, our, rotors, our timer blocks if I did it right yes this is gonna trigger it's gonna reverse the rotor and then it's gonna activate timer block 2 and then timer block 2 is set to 35 seconds and that will be reversing the rotor again so when we click this button the rotor is gonna turn up 180 degrees stop there and then come back down to zero degrees. Yes! Let's see if we figured it out and made it do the right thing. Come on, rotor! Should have probably adjusted that to be a little bit faster. It takes so long every time. Every time. See, now it stops. And then the second timer block hit triggered and bam it's gonna go back down to the other blue block okay now you can do the same thing with the hinge <coughs> and 
and a piston. Now the hinge is going to go up and then stop at 190 degrees and then go back down. Piston is going to come out to max. Stop and then go back. There we go. See, and there's the hinge. Hinge, are you going to start moving for me, sir? Come on. Okay, I think I might have changed. Yeah, that, that was a little bit too long, but you guys get the gist of it. See, you can make a moat or anything like that. Now, we'll, we'll go there later on. Now, we have our second one. Now, this is setting up two actions. Well, actually, it's going to be like three actions for that to be taking. So, we're going to go to our piston 122. We're going to change the speed. Speed is on one. Max distance. Uh, let's just make the max distance five. So that'll be five seconds for that to happen. And then rotor number two. Rotor number two will be moving at one revolution per second. Uh, we're going to set this to zero. And hmm. Where to put this? Where to put this? Uh, let's just go for 180. 180. Let's just increase this to two revolutions a minute. Okay, so now we're going to go to our next timer. Now, I haven't set up timers for the next one because I didn't know how many that would take. So we're going to go here and we're going to go to our timer block two of one. Well, one, two, two, one. We're going to set up our actions, which will be piston. We're going to reverse the piston like so. And then look for number two. Chuck that in there. And we're going to say start. Okay. So that's got the piston movement up. And then it's going to trigger block number two. Timer block number two. Now, timer block number two, we're going to give... Mod we'll, we'll give it six seconds delay now sometimes it does say five seconds it's just a little bit wonky every now and then but it does mean six seconds like if you actually click it'll say six seconds now we're going to set up an action and what we're going to do is we're going to change this rotor we're going to tell this rotor you will be reversing now you can tell it go positive go negative you can tell it all sorts of different things and then we're going to trigger timer block number three and we're going to say start. Okay, now on timer block number three, we're going to tell it to set up actions and we're going to change the piston, piston one to two. And we're going to reverse that again and reverse. Okay, so we want to trigger number four after that uh, we'll start number four after that okay and oh yeah we need to we need to set times guys we need to set times okay so up it's gonna take six seconds we've got two revolutions per minute so that's 30 seconds for an entire revolution we wanted to do half a revolution so we're gonna set it to 15 seconds bam you see there now it says 14 over there so we're just going to reset it to zero seconds and then we're going to go 15 seconds now that is fine but if you don't like it doing that you can always go in and you can go 15.1 seconds bam but we're going to give it 16 seconds just to give it that little bit of extra room if you know what i mean and then we're going to give this another six seconds to retract the piston completely and then we're going to i think we already no we didn't set up this one's actions number three's actions we did set up yes and that's going to trigger number four number four's actions will be to re-heighten the piston and reverse now you can you can actually take it let's just do that we'll do that and we'll say extend and then that's going to trigger number five for us 
dart. Number five will be taking six seconds as well. And then number six will be to set up the actions and we want, I'm gonna show you guys something. Now, if you have too little time blocks, this will happen. We'll just say reverse on that and retract on this one at the same time. So retract. Okay, now this one we can put to, okay, so this is gonna take six seconds to trigger and And that will extend the piston. No, yes, that is the correct way to do it. Because it'll go back, down, up. And then we'll give this 16 seconds as well. So it completely turns and retracts at the same time. Okay, so now we can set up our actions if I press the right button. Now we want to take timer 122, number one. We're going to say trigger now so that will force the timer block to activate the rest of the timer blocks which is right beneath us as you can see there they are so this one takes six timer blocks each now we can activate that it'll extend and then stop rotate oh i think i put the timing wrong are you gonna Hmm. Hmm. Now you see, here I made a little bit of a boo boo apparently, because the rotor is not turning. So, if something like that does happen, just go into your stuff, go to your timer block, and you can say number six, stop, or number five, stop. And then we can just reset everything. Where is our piston? Uh, piston one, two, two. Reverse. Yes, thank you. Now, I think I locked the rotor. To be honest with you guys, I think I locked. Yes, I locked the rotor. I'm stupid. There we go. I fixed it now. And we can now press the button and then try it again. Work this time. It's gonna work. I promise. Yes, it works. It works. Now that's gonna make a half a turn, 180 degree turn before it comes back down. <clears throat> now it's making the turn. It's stopping because we set the limits. You can always work off of timing, but it's not always that good to use timing. Now it's going to go back up and then it's going to start turning while it's going down because that's what we told it to do. And why are you taking so long to refresh? Hmm? I think I might have set up the last timer block the wrong way. Now let's go there. We need to check that out. Yes. Yes, we did. Am I on the right one? One, two, two, number five. One, two, two, number six. Aha. You see. Look there. Now, I think we do actually have enough pistons to do this. Oh, well, enough timer blocks to do this. Now we're going to tell it retract. And then we're going to go to number five set up actions here yes number five is automatic well number four is automatically going to trigger number five so number five we're going to set up our actions place the rotor down there and say reverse and then that has to trigger number six for us number six trigger now okay so this is an easy way to set up a Whatchamacalls, a, 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 one of those. I'll show you guys what that does just now. Okay, let's just retract our piston. Piston, reverse. Bam. Okay, so that happens to that. Now, if we activate it again, hopefully I didn't make another balls up and this will work. Now it'll go up, turn 180 degrees, go back down, go back up turn another 180 degrees go back down 
and that shouldn't be that big of a problem because we have six timer blocks and then it goes back down bam like that up and turn oh wow why didn't you turn huh it just went up and down okay but like i said we do have two little timer blocks to actually do this uh let's just go to our timer blocks so timer one extends the piston let's just let's just change that to extend so that we don't have a bugger up and then timer one triggers timer two well it doesn't trigger it it starts timer two now timer two has a six second delay which then triggers reverse action on rotor and then triggers timer three timer three therefore has a 16 seconds 16 second delay and then triggers the retract of the piston and then triggers timer four timer four therefore has a six second delay and then extends again so the piston's gonna go up it's gonna turn it's gonna go down it's gonna go up turn and back down now that's gonna extend and then trigger piston number up uh, timer piston number five piston a uh, Timer block number five has a six seconds delay, which then triggers the rotor. The rotor then triggers timer block number six. Well, it doesn't trigger it, it starts that. Then it has a 16 second delay, and then it retracts the piston. There we go. No, the action should be correct. Let me just check this quickly. Okay, I know what I did wrong there. I know what I did wrong there. Okay, so what we can actually do, instead of having six timer blocks, we can literally just tell number three to wait the 16 seconds and then set up a new action. Now we can remove number four. Now this will then constantly happen. And we can add number one. We can add timer block number one and we can say start. Bam. Now this is going to happen in a cycle the whole time unless you stop physically stop well unless you go into the menu and you say stop now we'll give this another six seconds we'll give timer block one six second delay so this then triggers timer block one it goes up stops turns 180 degrees come on you're super slow rotor 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 stops goes back down in six seconds and then bam that'll go back up rotate the rotor again And then it'll go back down after that and that action will continue the whole time so we'll go back up turn down up turn down up turn down that's literally what's gonna happen the whole time so that will never stop I'll come back later and I'll show you guys that will never stop so we need to set up a bunch of new timer blocks as soon as I can remember where they are timer blocks there we go okay so we needed six to do that but well, we actually only needed three to have it constantly do it now you can stop it and you can literally just trigger number one the whole time so it just goes one two three one two three the whole time that is literally you can do that that's not a problem now on these i actually have them mark number four number three number two and number one okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to get number one to come out and show itself and then go back down that's easy that is literally just trigger it 
So we can just set up that hinge, number one on the hinge, and just say reverse. So that'll go bam, it'll bring up number one, and we can see number one. That, that is that, that, that's that, that's complete. Okay, so we're going to set up a few timer blocks quickly. Let's do that. Let's just go four out and then another four out and then another four out because like I said, I cannot remember how many we will need to do this. Now, I myself have done this already, so I don't need to stress about that. Now we can just lower back down number one, but we want number three and then number four to pop out towards us. So I think this rotor is uh, piston number one, two, four, zero, speed is one, max distance is two, uh, where's the rotor? Rotor one, two, four. Rotor one, two, four is locked. Why are you locked? What are you doing? Reverse, please. Reverse, please. There we go. That was super weird. But what I'm basically just showing you guys is that you can set up more than one action on more than one thing. That is the gist of what I want to explain. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take... Oh, I need to rename these. Let's just go one... Two... three and four okay so what I want to do is I just want to show you guys that okay we can use that hinge separately from that entire grid and then we can say listen basically what I want you to do is I want you to take piston one of four one two four and we want to extend you and then we want to do Timer block number, no, not hinge number two. Timer block number two. Okay, and we want to say start. Okay. Now, timer block number two will be reversing the rotor. Where's the rotor? There's a rotor. We'll be reversing the rotor. Reverse for me, rotor. And then that timer block will then trigger number three. Start number three. Okay, so then number three has a 10 second delay. Yeah, that's fine. And then on number three, we're gonna set up another action. Take number four and put it just there. Now, there's no logical reason for me just putting it on nine. It's just, it's there, then it's done. Then I don't need to worry about it. And then we're gonna say, bring number three forward, please. We're, we're gonna ask it for number three. We're gonna ask it for number three. We'll just set up the times and then it'll do its own thing. Okay, now you don't need to do one action at a time the whole time. You can make it do several actions. So what we're then gonna do is we're gonna tell it, listen, take number three back down, take rotor, put it back on reverse and take piston where is piston there is piston and retract the piston okay so oh yeah we just need to work on our timings so number one extends the piston that's okay that only needs like two three seconds we'll give it three seconds just to be on the safe side and then number three turns the rotor now that rotor will need at least 30 seconds to turn but we're gonna change that up we're gonna let's just do this we'll say 15 seconds okay so the rotor then has 15 seconds to turn towards us because that's janky so we'll give it a little bit of extra time and then 
Number four will take another 15 seconds to return to its original position. So we need to adjust the speed of this rotor. So we're gonna say, just go there, click that, minus two. Okay, that's fine. Breaking torque, we're gonna take back to zero. Actually, let's just put it on zero. 0.01 newton meters of breaking torque that's fine let's just reverse this did i do something wrong here go to zero for me why are you being weird okay since it's doing that let's put it on five degrees just to be on the safe side. Okay, reverse, please. Why are you doing this weird stuff? Now, these are not the timer blocks that are making it spaz out like this. This is just the way rotors weirdly freak out every now and again. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We can work with that. Now, we just go to our button panel. Now, number one extends, just takes number one out and it just pushes it forward. Just like, hi, I'm number one. And then we're going to set this up on action number three. Because why not? Okay, so action number three, we want you to trigger now. Okay, so when we press this button, the piston will extend. The rotor will turn hopefully it gives us number three in time because yeah timings are just things you need to work on unfortunately i cannot show you timings right now as well it, well i'm showing you timings as well okay it's going a bit too far oh wait we never stopped it so number three is extending as you can see, it's turning and extending that. Now that freaked out. That went super janky. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, uh, let's just set up another timer block. We'll make this timer block number five. Just to actually stop it from turning as well. Now, you will be number five. So we can stop the piston from turning. Well, the roads are from turning. Unless we do it to number four. We can actually, let's do it to number four. Because why not? Okay, so it was number three. Yes, number three. I want you to take, it's one revolution per, no, it's two revolutions per minute. We set it to. So it'll take 30 seconds to make a full turn. We'll just set it to 25 because I think it's weird. 1, 2, 3, 25. No, it should be 30 seconds. I am correct there. 30 seconds there. Okay, so then we don't actually need timer block number 5, especially if we're doing this. Now it's going to go bam. It's going to go out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Number two, number three, stop. Uh, Mr. Rota, I need you to reset, please. Mr. Rota, go back. And Mr. Piston, you too, please. Just reverse for me, thank you. Okay, so we wanna give it a bit more time to work on the bringing up of the hinge. So we're going to give it, we'll give it 20 seconds, just 20 seconds, just why not? 20 seconds. Okay. So now it has 20 seconds to bring up hinge number four. Go for me. So then that's going to happen. Now you can see when a timer block is counting down, it's got that little flashy thingy right there. Now it's going to turn all the way to purple if I'm not wrong. And then it's gonna stop in front of us and extend number four. So we can see, hey, I'm number four. Woo! 
Okay, and stop. Be weird, that's fine. Why? Eh? I did set a lower limit for you. Did I not, Mr. Rota? Mr. Rota, I did set a lower limit for you. Yes, 360. Oh, wait, that needs to be on 270. Oops. Okay, so that's a me mistake. Now, number three is extending again. See, hi, I'm number three. Now, it's going back down. And all that jazz. Now, that's just the gist of it. That's just to explain to you how they work. Now, we're going to mess around with them. Now, I can show you guys the easy ways and the hard ways and things like that. But I'm just showing you guys the basics of it. Okay, so I just did this for the fun of it because why not? So we have two tunnel blocks here. Now that's going to raise the door and then lower it back down not soon after. Okay, fine, whatever. Okay, so we're going to raise the door. And we're just going to fly to the back just so I can show you guys. Okay, you see number one is busy. Uh, well, number two is busy counting down. And after the door has reached its height, if it doesn't clang out, no, it didn't clang out. It stays open for a bit. You can drive in your truck or whatever you want to do, things like that, while this one's still counting down. I can't remember how much time I gave this one. How much time do you have? 30 seconds. Oh, okay, there we go. And the door starts closing again. So, if you jump out, press the button, stop driving forward as the doors open, you push your way through, you're good. 100%. Now, my favorite one is messing with people. This is a fun one. Now, you can just go to the timer block and just say trigger now. Now, every 10 seconds, this will go off. Now, I just set up a random space pirate name. You can mess with people so much. Now, every 10 seconds, this will go on and off, on and off. And, <clears throat> and remember to enemies, to other online players who are not with you, this will look like a proper space pirate Hubble defense installation. It's just it's just a little mess around thing. It's just to make things fun. Okay, so what I actually wanted to show you guys, the most common use, as you can see, this is still going forward. The most common use for timer blocks are airlocks and uh, just little rotating platforms for your vehicle to turn on. Now, you can see this is still going in a loop because it's looping one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I can actually show you guys. See, that is looped to number two. Now we can stop that. Or we can just let it go out. Just let it finish up there. It's going to make the full turn. Turn, I say. Turn. Bam. And then it goes back down to number one. And then it's going to go like that again the whole time. That is all it's going to do. Now, the most common use is... Let me just stop this one. Let me just stop this one. Stop, please. Thank you. You are so kind. Okay, so the most common use is... For timer blocks are one of these. Now, what you do is you just go and you press number one. And it raises the bridge. Turns it. It's just to reposition vehicles and things like that. So you drive in from there, you park on here, and you wanna drive out the other way or drive out this way or whatever, whichever way you wanna do it. And then, bam, it just lowers back down and you can now drive your vehicle out. New. Or if you wanna put it away, you just go bam, drive your vehicle in turns and bam you can drive in that way but well, mine, mine's programmed to go that way but I just set everything up just to show you guys it's just to show you guys now because of the blocks that were modified these can actually basically drag against each other now you can see here look there's no gap in between there but it's not clanging so we did our job and we did it right there we go okay so now you guys know the basics of timers. Just the basics. Just 
more or less what they do and how they work. So you can have the fun mess around ones, you can have proper things that function like doors and vehicle turny thingies, just vehicle platforms. Now you can make elevators and things like this as well that go all the way up and they turn to a certain direction and then you can drive in and then you can come back and just go press the button again and go back down and turn back that way so you can drive out. Now, there's a lot you can do with timer blocks. So, if you guys do experiment with timer blocks, send a photo, join the Discord, send a photo, let me know what you did. You can even make like a little short video and just send it to me. But that's it. That's it from me and the Space Engineers community. And I hope you guys do share stuff. Cheerio and enjoy.